Hello everybody, so today we are kind of doing the very first job in the year of preparation for a fodder beet crop. Um, so what we're doing today, getting a little bit of slurry onto half of this field. Um, so this is quite a big field, but we don't need all of it as fodder beet. So just years and years and years ago, this used to be two fields anyway. So we're just going to plant the bottom, bottom half of this one. So we're going to divide it across Oh, it's pretty much central where that old hedge line used to be. Um, so this is the first job, getting a bit of slurry on. We do also have stacked up behind in the corner um, some dung out in the straw yards that will be going on just before it's ploughed. Oh, so that'll sit there for a month or so now um, until we get it spread, until we get to spread it out. Um, so we're just putting the slurry on today, and then the next job for the for the fodder beet will be to spray it off but it's too early in the, in the year at the minute to spray it so we'll spray it off a roundup cut all the grass off then spread the dung on it and plow it but we're just getting this slurry on today while it's dry enough you can see behind we've got a lovely lovely sunny dry february day so we're just getting on while we've got the chance because basically the slurry is going to be the fertilizer but that's not that's no different this year. Every year we never put any artificial fertilizer uh, onto the fodder beet. It always just grows on slurry. So we do have the drone today. There'll be a little bit of drone footage later on. And one of the benefits of bringing that today, because I'm getting down into this far corner, um, I can watch. I can put the drone over the pipe uh, and make sure I'm not pulling too much pipe. Just we can pull it just enough straight to pull it straight. And by not so much as we pull on the joints. So that's one of the benefits of having a bit of modern technology with you. Just helps to make sure that we get every every little bit that we can reach. Because we are right on the end of three pipes here. Right, so we're very nearly finished, just that little corner to get to now. Uh, so I'm sure some of you are going to ask, or probably already have, uh, why are we putting the slurry on this early before it's even sprayed off? Um, it's dry enough to get on at the minute, and as soon as, you know, the grass isn't growing yet, but as soon as it does we can be in and spray it before it gets too tall. And it's a little bit early, just at the minute, to spread slurry onto grassland. Um, we have to try and this year get our timings perfect because of the fertilizer, you know. Trying to manage with as little fertilizer as we can get away with. Um, put the put the slurry on to the grass when it's actually just getting growing. Should utilize it a little better. And then hopefully 
Uh, when we would normally spread this kind of early April-ish, um, hopefully trying to kind of save any slurry we've got then for a, to keep it through the summer. So we've got get this little bit out and then we're going to hopefully if we can cross next door's arable stubble um, spread on to 50 acres of rented ground but we've got to cross our pipeline across their, their stubble if they'll let us go um, and then we can you know hopefully have a full tank to do that um, time that you know it'll fill up again we spread this little bit out this morning time we get to do that big block hopefully the tower should be well full up again um, so that we can have a decent run at it when we've got all the pipe laid out and not you know not run out of slurry when we've only done half of it so that's the reason for going early um, like I say we'll spray this off as soon as it gets growing um, and then it will just die away we can plow it in nice and tidy so there we go all finished um, so we just got to follow the pipe now um, under the joints so that we can pull it back in um, to the lovely uh, feels like a spring morning but it's middle of like I said it's not even the middle of February yet um, so it's certainly not spring but we're starting to think now it might be on the way which is always welcome um, although I dare say there's some dare say there's some bad weather still to come more joint we might as well do that while we're this close um, just one more joint to break it is just the other side of that tree so as it's such a nice morning we might as well go for a little wander um, go and undo it and then we'll rush one in, you know because what I normally do I kind of roll one pipe up and then walk on to the next joint and undo that um, but it's a nice morning so we're gonna do it all in one go Look at all these flies come out already look. And there's me thinking it weren't spring yet. Don't know where they've been hiding all winter to wake up already. What I do is just pull this end back a little bit. So by doing that, so doing that just gives me enough slack in the pipe to be able to drive up, um, put the railer down, and then have enough enough slack on the end of the pipe to you know, catch it into the railer and pull it in. So we're just walking back to the tractor now. Um, so this is the other half of the field we've just spread. So this is going to end up getting grazed in the spring. Um, this field it got slurry. Um, probably early November I would say I don't I can't remember exactly when I got it um, but it, yeah it got dribbled dribble barred uh, in, in November and it's looking for this point in February it's looking a very nice color normally kind of now it's this time of year grass is looking a bit yellow and stressed um, you know wanting some bit looking a bit hungry but this it's looking a very nice colour. Um, we've got some little bits of clover here, look. We're just waiting to come on. Uh, give us our nitrogen. So yes, yeah, looking good. Let's hope for a kind spring. And uh, get the cows out as early as we can. Save that silage ready for, ready for next winter. So we are just packing up now. So 
we quite often get asked in the comments, you know, why is this faster than a tanker with all this laying out and setting up the pipes and all that? Um, and it, it does take time, obviously, you know. We are on, it's just three pipes today. So that's, it's, it's quicker if I can do it with three pipes. Um, if we've got to put the big reeler on the other tractor, obviously then we lay out pipes off the big reeler and then we have to drop it off and put the pump on the big tractor so that all adds time. And if we can do them all, if we can reach the field with, a, with a, just the three pipes on air, it's much faster. Um, and we this morning we have spread probably six acres, I would think. Uh, we didn't get going, didn't start till gone ten. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we started rolling. I started rolling out about quarter past ten, I reckon. Um, and it's now 20 to 1, so we've spread 6 acres, so we've rolled out 3 pipes, spread 6 acres, and now we're going to roll up the pipes, it is at the minute, it's 20 to 1, and we will well be finished by 1 o'clock, because you, know, you can probably see the end of the pipe now, nearly finished the second pipe, um, just one more pipe to roll then. And we have gone through each gateway twice, well, you know, one journey there and back. So that it's much faster, even taking into account the time laying out and reeling up the pipes. Um, you wouldn't spread six acres in under three hours, I wouldn't think. I know we're not going far, obviously we've gone 600 metres, so you, know, you can tell how far we're hauling it. Um, so anybody with a tanker on the hauling that kind of distance, how much, how much ground would a tanker cover on a relatively short haul in, in under three hours? So let's have a, you know, if, you, if, you, if you've done that kind of thing, leave us a comment. Admittedly, a tanker is, is one man and one tractor. Um, the way we're, you know, obviously at the moment this is running, is two tractors uh, and two, you know, two operators. We can't get away from that. Um, you know, so that does have to be taken into account. Um, so by using obviously two tractors and two operators, we're doubling the labour cost. Um, but what the cost that you, I'm going to say you, you can't put a value on it. You can see here, this is a trackway where we hold that, the dung we've got stacked up, we're going to spread later on. Um, it all came up here. And that was in dry weather, so you know, that grass isn't going to do a lot all summer. And that is what we're not doing with this pipe. You can see we've driven through the gateway once on the way out here and once on the way back and you can barely see where we've been so there we go yeah so leave us a comment if you you know if you if you can compare your operation compares to this one in regards to distance traveled um, you know how long would it take you to spread six acres leave it leave us a comment down below last pipe coming on and um, so all I would say is thank you very much for watching um, don't forget down below in the description box where there is usually a little link to go and see my Instagram page. Uh, when, I, when I remember to put it in, it's there. Uh, so you can go and do that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because we are steadily creeping up towards, I think at the minute we are about 14,500 subscribers. And when we get to 15,000, we will do one of them live video thingies. So we did one of them for Vintage Thursday quite a while ago now and it was good fun. We had loads of uh, watchers and commenters and questions and all that. So I think we'll do that again when we get the 15,000. So if you haven't subscribed, do that and let us get there a little bit faster and then you get to ask all your questions. So we'll do that whenever and when the time comes. That'll summit, that's something that's going to be coming up. So there we go, final pipe on and it is... 12.47, so we have been, when I get back to the yard, by the time I get back to the yard, it will be about two and three quarter hours for this job. So there we go, leave us your comment. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time.